Hey everyone and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make creamy mushroom crepes. This recipe is super simple to prepare but yet tastes really good. So let's get started. The first thing we have to do is make the batter for the crepes. First up, add half a cup of flour and half a cup of milk. Also add one egg, some chives, and a pinch of salt if you want. Once all the ingredients are in the bowl, whisk it really well. By the end, you want to make sure it has the consistency of a thick liquid. So for the filling, I'm going to be using mushrooms and corn. So first of all, with the mushrooms, make sure to wash those really well and then slice them into bite-sized pieces. And with the corn, I'm using frozen corn, so I'm going to defrost that. Now that we've prepared the batter and the ingredients for the filling, we can start cooking the grapes. Go ahead and put a pan on a medium heat with some oil, and then once it starts heating up, you can put in 5 tablespoons of the batter. Once you put it in, use your spatula to spread it around and make it really thin. You can keep it on each side for about a minute or two and then flip it and then keep it on the other side for another minute. Repeat that process with the remaining batter. Once you finish the crepes, you can set those aside and now we're going to move on to the filling. First we have to cook the mushrooms, so I'm going to put the pan on a medium heat again with some oil and then add all of the mushrooms to the pan. The mushrooms are going to shrink a lot in size, so make sure you keep them sautéing for a few minutes until they're fully cooked. So it's been about 4 minutes and it looks like the mushrooms are fully cooked, so I'm going to go ahead and add all of the corn. So the corn has been in there for about a minute, and to make this creamy I'm going to add about 3 quarters of a cup of oat milk, but you can use any other milk you like. So go ahead and put that on a high heat and bring it to a simmer. And then once it starts simmering, you can add a little bit of flour to make it thicker like a sauce. I'm also adding a little bit of Gruyere cheese, but you don't need that much. A little bit goes a long way. Keep stirring it and remember that milk expands a lot, so if it starts coming up, reduce the heat. So it's been simmering like this for about 5 minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and add a tablespoon of flour just to thicken it a little bit. Make sure to remove any lumps in the flour with the sieve beforehand. So I've been stirring and simmering it for another few minutes, and you can really see now that it's thickened a lot more, it's more of a sauce-like consistency. So now you can go ahead and turn the heat off, and now we'll move on to plating. So for plating, I'm using this board here, but you can also use any plate that you like. So first, go ahead and take the crepes and just lay them out on the board. Next, line up the filling along the center of the crepes. And then last, you can either leave them out like this, or you can fold them over. You can also sprinkle some chives over the top. And there we go, all set. It's creamy mushroom and corn chive crepes. Thank you so much for watching this video, I really hope you liked it. If you did, make sure to click the like button, subscribe to my channel, comment down below, and share this video. And I'll see you next time.